Hey everybody, Paul the Sound Guy, product specialist for sure, and today we're going to be talking about the different type of microphones and what you need to look for when trying to find the right one. Let's get to it. So today we're talking about microphones, and microphones are really just transducers, and that means they convert acoustic energy into electrical energy. But they all have different characteristics to meet different applications. So let's talk about the different types of microphones that we have and what you need to look for. The first one we're going to talk about is the dynamic microphone. Now the dynamic microphone, the sound moves over a thin diaphragm that causes it to vibrate. A coil of wire is attached to that diaphragm and moves over a magnet generating an electrical signal. Now, dynamic microphones can handle very loud sounds without any distortion. They're not as good for distant or quiet sources. They have limited high frequency detail and mounting options. Now, with a condenser microphone, the sound waves move a thin diaphragm in front of an electrically charged backplate. The changes in the electrical field between the diaphragm and the backplate is what generates an electrical signal. Now, condenser microphones have more high frequency detail, have a higher output, and are more sensitive for quiet and distant sounds, they do require 48 volt or phantom power from your preamp, mixer, or interface in order to charge the backplate. They will pick up more room or background noise, which can be a pro or a con depending on your application, and can sometimes be less sturdy than a dynamic. Now let's talk about ribbon microphones. With a ribbon microphone, the sound waves move a thin metal or composite ribbon that is suspended within a magnetic field which produces an electrical signal. They have a rich warm sound and smooth response. Current models are more durable than older ribbon microphones can handle louder sources uh, than they used to be able to. They do tend to have a lower output, so you may need a mic boost of some sort uh, if your preamp mixer or interface does not have enough gain in the preamp uh, to provide a boost for that ribbon microphone. Now let's talk about polar patterns really quick. Polar patterns are the pickup area of the microphone. The omnidirectional patterns are exactly what they sound like. They have a perfect sphere pickup pattern around the microphone, so it really doesn't matter where the microphone is pointed or how it's oriented because it picks up sound equally from all directions around it. Omnis can be great for recording purposes whenever you're wanting to really pick up the sound of the environment. Now the cardioid pattern is a heart-shaped kind of pattern in front of the microphone that picks up sound in front of and a little bit to the sides of the microphone. It has about 130 degree uh, coverage area on the front of the microphone, but it's really good at rejecting sounds from uh, the back of the microphone. So this can be great in live situations where you have floor monitors and they're less susceptible to feedback. The hyper and supercardioid patterns are similar to the cardioid, but they have a little bit tighter coverage, about 110 degrees on the front. They pick up a little bit less to the sides, uh, but they do have uh, a little bit of a lobe in the back of the microphone uh, because of the tighter pattern that we get in the front of the microphone. These can be great for situations where you want a more focused, tighter sound. Uh, maybe you're using two monitors off to the sides instead of one monitor right behind the microphone. Now the bidirectional or figure eight pattern picks up sounds equally on the front and the back of the microphone while rejecting sounds from the sides. This has about a 90 degree coverage pattern on the front and the back and is a great multifunctional microphone if you're needing to use one mic to pick up more than one source. So how do we use these different types of microphones? So here's just some common practices that we use. Uh, typically we will use a cardioid uh, dynamic microphone in live sound situations where we want to mic uh, drums, vocals, uh, amplifiers, uh, brass instruments, horns, that kind of thing. Uh, we get less feedback uh, in general, but they're also great in the studio for the same thing where we're wanting to pick up the source and less of the room sound. 
Condenser microphones can be great because they pick up more sound, they're more sensitive, so we tend to use them for more acoustic instruments, quieter instruments, uh, pianos. Uh, sometimes we use cymbals because we want that higher detail uh, in the sound to be captured. Condenser microphones can also be multi-pattern, so they can switch from cardioid to omni, sometimes to bi-directional. So they're multifunctional in terms of being able to use them for a variety of things uh, on stage and in the studio. Now, ribbon microphones are almost always bi-directional or figure eight pattern, uh, so they can be used to pick up uh, sounds from either side. Uh, generally, these are used a lot of times for piano, uh, for guitar amps, uh, drum overheads as well. Uh, there's a variety of sources that you can use, even for vocals. So that's it for today. So whenever you're looking for a microphone, just know that there are different types of microphones, dynamic, condenser, ribbons, and different types of patterns. So depending on what your application and needs are, you'll be able to find the right microphone to meet it. Have a good one.